Which one is the best medium altitude long endurance UAV? 15 years old American MQ9 Reaper or new Turkish Akanji? In this comparison, we are going to compare the price, maximum flight altitude, endurance, engine power, carrying capacity, and finally, we will compare their electronic capabilities. Before starting the comparison, I will briefly give information about the two UAVs. The MQ9 is a medium altitude long endurance known as Mail class UAV designed by the American General Atomic. MQ9 made its first flight on the 2nd February 2001. This UAV entered service in 2007 and has been used by the US military for 15 years. Also England and Italy bought this UAV and are using it. The M is the DOD designation for multi Multi-role and Q means remotely piloted aircraft system. The 9 indicates it is the 9th in the series of remotely piloted aircraft systems. The length of the MQ-9 is 11 meters and its wingspan is 20 meters. The height of this UAV from the ground is 12 feet or 3.81 meters. On the other hand, if we look at the Akanji, Akanji is also a male class UAV designed by the Turkish Baikar Defense. Akanji made its first flight on the 6th December 2019. This UAV entered service on August 29th, 2021. Baikar Company announced that Akanji was exported to two countries, but it is keeping the name of the exported countries secret for now. In the Ottoman Empire, the name Akanji was called to the soldiers who secretly penetrated the enemy and carried out an operation. If we look at the dimensions of Akanji, its length is 40 feet or 12.2 meters. The height of Akanja from the ground is 13 feet or 4.1 meters. As you can see, Akanja is bigger than MQ-9. The best part of the video starts. Let the competition between two UAVs begin. There is no clear information about the price of the MQ-9, but in April 2021, the US State Department approved a possible foreign military sale to the Australian government of 12 MQ-9 version B Reapers and related equipment with an estimated cost of $1.651 billion. This means that the cost of each MQ-9 together with its equipment reaches $140 million. If we look at the price of Akanji, according to different sources, the price of Akanji is around $20 million. The price of Bayraktar TB2 is stated at $6 million. If we take this price as basis, the price of Akanji may be between 10 to 20 million dollars. Thus, the price of Akanji, together with its total equipment, should be between 30 to 40 million dollars. There is a huge price difference between Akanji and MQ-9. Akanji's low price can make it successful in the UAV market, but for this, Akanji must be able to compete with the MQ-9 in terms of performance and capability. But can it compete? We will get the answer to this question at the end of the video. Before I compare the maximum flight altitude, let me remind you. Since different variants of Akanji use different engines, their maximum flight altitudes are also different. We are comparing the Akanji version B UAV as a base. Akanji's maximum flight ceiling is 40,000 feet or 12.2 kilometers, but this altitude is expected to increase in more advanced versions. Also, MQ-9 has a maximum service ceiling of 50,000 feet or 15.4 kilometers. 
The endurance of both MQ-9 and Ockinger version A UAVs is 14 hours when fully loaded. If you look at the engine power, the MQ-9 uses a Honeywell production 900 horsepower turboprop engine. Different variants of Ockinger use three different engines. The first engine is AI-450 with 450 horsepower and the two engines produce a total of 900 horsepower. The second engine is 750 horsepower. The model of the engine was not shared, but I guess probably the PT6 engine was used. These two engines produce a total of 1500 horsepower. Finally, Baikar signed a contract with Ukraine for purchase of a 950 horsepower MS500 engine. It is unknown how the war between Ukraine and Russia will affect this contract, but if these two engines are mounted on Akunja, it will turn it into a 1900 horsepower monster. Akunja's twin engine provides higher flight safety compared to MQ-9. The disadvantage of using two engines of Akunji is that the maintenance period is longer than MQ-9. If you ask which UAV has a higher carrying capacity, Akunji A and MQ-9 have the same carrying capacity of one and a half ton. The carrying capacity of other Akunji models is not clear, but it is clear that they are more than MQ-9. And about avionics, these are the avionics used by the MQ-9 multi-spectral targeting system. We call this system the eye of the MQ-9 ANAPY-8 Linux 2 radar. Linux is operating in the Ku band high resolution, all with a synthetic aperture radar and ground moving target indicator system. It generates photo-like radar images with a maximum resolution of 4 inches in SAR spotlight mode and tracks moving ground targets in GMTI mode. The MQ-9 can be fitted with mission-dependent extra electronics. That's all to say about the MQ-9. If we look at the Akunji's avionics, Aselsan Common Aperture Targeting System, National ISA Radar, Electronic Warfare Pod, National SIGNIT Model. As you can see, Akunji uses an ISA radar specially designed for it, and that's why it has a big nose. This radar means that Akunji can easily detect and hit air to ground targets without the need for optical systems. Also, thanks to this radar, Akanja will be able to use air-to-air -air missiles produced by Turkey. Finally, we did not compare the range of the two UAVs. The reason is that they are both controlled by satellite and can go anywhere as long as they have fuel. In addition, the maximum speed that the MQ-9 can reach is 480 km per hour. There is no clear information about the maximum speed of Akanji. Akanji A is known to reach 360 km per hour. Akanji B, on the other hand, is estimated to be 500 km per hour. The most powerful 1900 horsepower version of Akanju is still under development. We will also see a special piston engine version of Akanju produced by Turkey for UAVs. This version is called the C model and the development process is not clear for now. We got enough information about both UAVs. Now the decision is yours. Which UAV is better and why?